All right, here's a schematic of the main board. Screws 1 and 2 on the main board are small silver ones. The rest are the same size, so you can use them wherever. Just make sure you put them in the right place. Basically, now you're going to have to put the uh, daughter board in. Basically, you just uh, line up the connector, push it in. It works better if you push it in from the plastic, not from the wire, because you could damage the wire. Basically, you once you've got that on there, basically you want to move the wire back so you don't squash it with the daughter board. And you want to line up the Wi-Fi switch with the front pl black plastic switch on the front of the laptop. It kind of just gets in the way of the antenna cable, so you have to hold it with your screwdriver. Basically, I screwed it in, kind of just sped it up a bit. Basically, you screw in the black screw there, and then the other two screws. The one by the audio connector, and the one by the Intel chipset. Basically, you just put the screws in. Snug them up fairly good, but don't overdo it. Basically, uh, connect the uh, speakers up again. It just plugs in. And just tape it down again. Basically, you grab your Wi Fi board, put it in on an angle like you would memory. It bends down. And uh, basically, you get the Wi Fi screw push it down. As long as the screw lines up, you have it in right. Screw it in, snug it up, but don't overdo it. And the wires just push onto the connectors. The white wire goes towards the screw or basically towards the front of the notebook. You press it in and if it doesn't want to go in, you make sure you're lining it up correctly. And there's one and just get this other one, there we go. Another thing is make sure you tuck the wire away so it's not, it doesn't get squashed by anything. So now you get the front panel here. There'll be a schematic coming up with where the screws go. Basically you just press around to activate the clips again. You don't have to press too hard but but basically the clips just clip back into place. Basically you put the screws put this little screw in and the rest of the screws are the bigger ones. That's the really small one. Here's the schematic. Basically put the screws in. It's not rocket science. Basically, there's five screws under the keyboard, and they're marked on the metal plate with arrows. And here's the trackpad connector. Basically, make sure it's fully inserted and close it down. You basically just fold it down, press that down, and you should be good. Basically, make sure that uh, it's fully inserted. There's a black line and it kind of matches up with the white on the motherboard. And here's a close-up of the keyboard. Same thing, make sure it's fully inserted. And basically you fold the keyboard down. Make sure it sits in there properly. Fold it down. This is a lot easier than taking it out. You basically just press by the pause slash break and the F8 key. And then last but not least the other keys. Just make sure that the clips are holding. It's pretty easy. And basically you're almost done. You only have to put in uh, a few more screws. The smaller screws that uh, 
go in the back where the battery is. You have to make sure you use the smaller screws back there. Put the rubber feet back on. Put all your screws back in and you're ready to go. Lock the battery and turn on your laptop and hopefully all went well. Hit F2 on startup repeatedly until you get into the setup. So go to the main tab check the total memory and if it says 1536 megabytes it detected your memory correctly thanks for watching the video and hopefully everything goes well for you